Hello and welcome to the newscast. This is Daniel Che for this Sunday evening's edition of Arirang News. We begin outside of Korea in Denmark. Copenhagen is on high alert after two people were killed in two separate shootings in the Danish capital on Saturday. One of the incidents took place during a free speech debate at a cafe with a controversial artist. It's drawing comparisons to the deadly Charlie Hebdo shootings in Paris last month. Starting things off for us is our Kwan Zawa. This is the suspect police were searching for after not one, but two separate shootings that have gripped the Danish capital since Saturday. Not long after the shootings, police shot a man dead close to the two earlier attack sites as he fired on them. Investigators now seem to believe that he was the lone gunman in the CCTV footage taken near the site of the shootings. One civilian was killed in the first incident at an arts cafe and another was killed within hours at a nearby synagogue. Five police officers were injured. Um, we don't know if there is any connection between the two shootings, unfortunately. Um, it would be likely to, to think so, but we have no indications uh, if there is any link between them. The first incident at the cafe occurred during a debate on art, blasphemy and freedom of expression. The featured guest was Lars Vilks, who says he thinks he was the target of the incident. Vilks is a controversial artist who has received death threats since 2007 when his depictions of the Prophet Muhammad as a dog were published. This is what he said back then. This should be a, a small thing, really, to insult a, a, a religion. You cannot make any excep exceptions for religion. I mean, that's, that's, that's the point. I mean, th this should be... The same, the same rules as we have for Christianity or, or the Jewish religion or what, whatsoever. The incident brings up memories of another that took place not so long ago in Paris. The French ambassador to Denmark, who also attended Saturday's debate, believes the motivation for the cafe shooting was the same as that for the shooting at the French weekly Charlie Hebdo, which printed satirical images of the prophet that left 17 dead. I'm not afraid. It's more like uh, it's more crazy. More like uh, the feeling of uh, yeah, it's happened in Denmark. We have heard about it in, in Paris, and if you can relate those, those uh, things together, but it's crazy. Denmark's Prime Minister Elle Tornik Schmidt told the media the whole country is on high alert and said she feels certain that the shooting is a politically motivated terrorist attack. Kwan Soa, Arirang News.